Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn, no <coughs> turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out now today I want to talk it's chinos today I want to talk about surviving a suicide attempt and the trauma that comes from it now I'm going to be very clear here I am going to be talking about some of my own attempts if you're going to be triggered by me talking about my suicide attempts, please click off this video, go watch one of my other videos, I'll link a, le a light hearted one there. The suicide attempt I want to talk about is when I overdose on insulin. So I was given boxes of five insulin pens times two. I had lung acting insulin, I had short acting insulin. And basically I grabbed both boxes out of the fridge, went into the bathroom, locked the door and I started injecting all of the pens into me, which don't do. That landed me on a section two and honestly it was one of the most traumatising things I had. It was traumatising because no matter what the staff did, my blood sugar was always low. And they did reach a point where they told me there was potential I could die. If they couldn't get it up. And I'm talking about after having bags of glucose. It was a really serious attempt on my life. And it's not one that I talk about very often because it is upsetting. Basically, I didn't die. Hi. <laughs> but I did have a hospital admission because of it. Which was granted, fully granted. I, If I had gone home, if I had gone home that day, I would have d done the same thing again. And I, I know I say that, wouldn't you be tempted to regret it? You don't always regret it. Now, I was really unhappy. And I really did struggle with my sugar levels. Not so much now. I've kind of gained control of it now. When staff remember to give me my injection, unlike this week. Truthfully, it's... When you make an attempt, you're left with the memories of that attempt. So I have flashbacks to that attempt, and they're not good. They are devastating. I keep hearing over and over, you could, you could die. I hate that I reached such a low point in my life that that became the only option. When I when I was on insulin then, I used it properly. I was a bit off with the long acting one so I was using more of the short acting one. I was checking my blood sugars three times a day but now I check it twice a day. Which just hurt my finger but yeah. Anyway it's not what this video is about. Why am I going on a tangent? Suicide is scary because it's not even like someone else did it to you. You've reached a point that you're so low in your own life that taking an overdose, trying to hang yourself, slashing your throat, injecting all your insulin, and so many other ways. So let's talk about the trauma of surviving a suicide attempt. People, I've had people say, trauma? Question mark? to it and yes I mean that trauma you can develop PTSD from having a suicide attempt PTSD is not an easy thing to live with and the reason a suicide attempt can cause trauma is because making the decision to end your life isn't when you attempt suicide, it's often something you've thought about for weeks, if not months. 
and when you finally act on those thoughts once you've done it there's no going back you either seek help and don't seek help and hope for the best or you die I remember once I went I walked from Preston to Blackburn the police in Blackburn said why do I always migrate there and they didn't even wrote that I like interactions with the police how dismissive is that for one so I walked home my phone died but I had my iPad on me so I used my iPad to film a video it was about 40 minutes long this video and basically I said that when I die I want that record to be shown to the public but basically after that long video I set it to upload but while it was uploading because it was going to take 30 minutes to upload I tried to hang myself and when I came round there was two police officers standing over me and I had a mental health act assessment in my flat because the paramedics that came didn't want me to be alone because they knew I'd attempt again and that attempt was traumatic because I've tried to hang myself when I've been in hospital but I'd never done it at home where I had things like bag straps and cables so it was traumatic because honestly the trauma of surviving any suicide event is just horrible but how do you cope with that Honestly, you just have to learn to work through it, and what I mean by that is learning learning techniques that help you. Ow, my knee. My knee just clicked, and it hurt. And I'm really hot in this hoodie. But honestly, suicide attempts are traumatic. And I can't say exactly how they're traumatic, they just are. And honestly, I wish people understood that. That just because it's traumatic for external people, it's also traumatic for the person who goes through it. But yeah, coping with it. One, allow yourself to truly understand that moment in your life. Yes, you attempted suicide, and yes, it traumatised you. That doesn't define your life. Oh, fuck off, fly. Oh, that, that makes me happy. Number two, truly love. For me, that's makeup and dyeing my hair. Speaking of dyeing my hair, it's so faded. I need to dye it. But I can't afford hair dye until Wednesday. So that's fun. Number three, open up to somebody, whether it's a therapist, your parent, friend. But yeah, there are three things that you can do to help yourself recover from the trauma. Thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.